Hey guys, welcome back to my beauty space. In case you're new here, my name is Pammy, and in today's video, I am going to be reviewing a bunch of new makeup releases in the clean beauty world. Uh, a bunch of really interesting and intriguing releases for spring 2022. I am so happy to have gathered all of this makeup together to actually do a full face. I'm going to go bare face in a second and I'm going to apply all of these new products. Some of them I already played around with just to get a proper idea of what they are like. And there are a couple of products, I think two, no, three, three products today that are going to be first impressions. And yeah, I'm going to put on this look with all of these new products. Um, I'm super excited for this video because I have some brands that are brand new to the channel that I would love to introduce with today's video and I will definitely feature these brands more because some of these products that I have for today's video are actually really fantastic. So I have three brands that I've never featured before. Um, I have Rosie Ink. I've got a couple of products by her. A line and I'm so excited to finally be showing you these products on my channel uh, today and give you some of my opinions uh, on these products and I have LYS Beauty as well as Say Beauty but I've also got some uh, brands on here that are featured in previous videos um, I have some new products by Fit Glow I've got their new foundation here, you guys. We're going to be trying this out. Also, you guys, I'm so excited to be showing you these new highlights by RMS Beauty. I was really excited when I saw this release. You guys know I love their eyeshadow powders. So when I saw that they came out with a new cream formula, got really excited and I picked these up. So you guys are in for a good, good ride, um, promised. Um, I also just want to point out that all of these brands that I'm featuring in today's video are, of course, 100% cruelty-free. That is something very, very close to my heart. And I just like to keep it that way on my channel. So if that is something that you are interested in, I would absolutely love to have you on here. You, so you just have to hit that subscribe button. You can also ring the bell in order to stay notified about my upcoming content. And if you do enjoy this video at any point, please feel free to give it a big thumbs up. I don't want to be talking too much because I just want to go barefaced, tell you all about these new products. What are my thoughts? What am I thinking? What would I recommend? What would I pass on? And so forth. So I would say without further ado, let's just go barefaced and let's get this review rolling. All right, you guys, so there's an entire box full of new makeup ready to be put on my face. And yeah, I can't wait. So let's actually start off with the very first product. Let's start off with the primer. So this is by Hourglass and this is their Vanish Airbrush Primer. And this retails for $56. So here is the newly released primer by Hourglass. I do have their um, other primer. I think it's called Veal. This one has been um, newly released and honestly, I have been enjoying this throughout. This is really, really lovely. This was really surprising to me. Like I did not expect to like it as much as I actually do. And I was kind of unwilling to purchase it in the beginning, but you can always get me with a good blurring primer. And this claimed to be kind of blurring, perfecting, I mean, airbrush. So that definitely did um, trigger my interest in trying this out. And I've got to say, I know that Hourglass does make some really good quality makeup and I've rarely been disappointed by them. So I was really keen on trying this out and you can really get me with something like that, a good blurring primer, something that perfects my pores, something that gets my sort of combo skin a little bit under control, especially on my T-zone. Let's actually put the product on my face and I'm gonna tell you, this is such a lovely product. It's going to sort of mattify my complexion. I'm just gonna put my hair back just so that it's a little bit easier to apply the makeup and stuff. This beautiful packaging. <laughs> this is really stunning. This actually comes in a glass bottle 
with a pump and so this is actually kind of like a cream really sort of like a hybrid gel cream um, it is kind of lovely it spreads out beautifully and now let's see what's gonna happen on my pores I mean you can definitely tell that this does a fantastic job and actually blurring up my pores and smoothing out my little bit of like glowy skin because I did put my skincare on earlier so that was still sitting on there. Wow, I really enjoy this kind of priming and my skin feels so soft. It feels like silk to be honest. Like I don't know hourglass this is honestly serious magic in a bottle it's really good it's not it does not contain any perfume um you know just check the ingredients for yourself and see if you're fine with them but i would definitely recommend this for anyone who has combination skin for anyone who has oily skin who wants to control shine who wants to like fill in the pores who just wants a flawless sort of smoothened out base and yeah, so that being said, the primer is applied. So let's move on to the new foundation that I've literally got this morning in the mail and I haven't even tried it yet. So this is going to be a first impressions. So this is the brand new Fit Glow Beauty Foundation Plus and this retails for $55. I really can't remember how many shades they used to have. I think like eight or something, but now they've got 18. So I picked out the shade 2.5 which is described as a light with neutral undertones so really quick on the box this does say vegan cruelty free paraben free glass packaging organic ingredients plant actives silicone free synthetic fragrance free made in the usa used within 12 months so as you guys may know i really really love fit glow i do have a lot of video reviews on this brand in case this is your very first video and you've never heard about fit glow before oh my gosh please do check out my other videos on this brand on my channel i'm also gonna link them in the description box below because i really really enjoy this brand so fit glow's price point is quite high but just rest assured that the quality of the products usually is impeccable so i cannot wait to try this i haven't even tried the shade but you guys this actually does come in a doe foot which honestly i don't enjoy that much i've got to be honest with you this reminds me of the rare beauty foundation first off it's always a little bit messy uh straight off the bat i just think like this is not my favorite delivery system this is very personal to me too but um also i might just struggle to get the product out afterwards i really love their airless pump system i honestly wish they kept their old sort of packaging system maybe they could have revamped like the look or something um the design of it or something i mean it's glass packaging which i appreciate but again it's kind of already gonna be hard to get the product out and i'm already <laughs> not the biggest fan a eh? is this shade gonna be good or not Ooh, this feels very creamy so what are they actually saying so herbal and organic plant infused photo filtering foundation delivers natural antioxidants to care for skin all day while creating a healthy looking flawless finish okay so let's see about that let me just take a brush i don't have their foundation brush but I do have my Clove and Hello, my favorite um, perfecting buffer brush. I'm just going to use that one. I mean, this is definitely a shade match. I really, really like the shade. Just see. Really nice, isn't it? It is a little bit thicker in consistency. And to be honest, because this is actually a castor seed oil based foundation. Now, this might ring some alarms for some of you 
because I keep on reading in my comments that some people are not actually that worried about coconut oil, but rather about castor oil clogging the pores. So I don't know if you're acne prone, if this is gonna be your favorite choice. Now, I don't actually like oil at all on my skin. So that made me a little bit worried about it. And also it does, I don't know how well the dry down is going to be. We'll have to see. I'm just gonna apply this a little bit more. I've got to say, I think the coverage is stunning. I wasn't expecting this to, you know, cover that well. However, I do have to say, I'm, I mean, it, it, it does feel quite thick. This is the way most thick foundations kind of look on my skin. This to me feels like a stick foundation in a bottle. So let's actually do the other side of my face and let's continue playing around with this new foundation. This makes the skin look super, super healthy. Like, I don't know, it looks really pretty. Uh, I'm just not really sure about the texture of this. It feels like really like a thick cream. I mean, I can kind of feel it on the skin. It's not completely lightweight. It's nothing like watery or runny. So in that sense, I'm not sure how this is going to wear. I'm just not sure because right here is my problem zone. If I would wear a mask or something, or if I would not set this foundation, I feel like, yeah, the dry, I have this all over my hands now. Oh my God, yeah, there's no, the dry down of this. I'm not sure, it's because it's an oil-based foundation. So that is my only thing. I prefer water-based foundations in general. The coverage on this is really nice though. I honestly feel like just by looking at how well this balanced out my redness and how well this actually balanced out my skin tone, this looks really, really pretty. This shade really does match my skin really perfectly. So this one also does not oxidize. I feel like it still looks the same way in terms of color as when I applied it. But the texture, I'm not sure. I need to set this with powder. I'm glad we do have some powder. But before we're gonna move on to the powder, um, we are going to be talking about this concealer that the entire internet was raving about. And I just, uh, I had it for a while and I never came around uh, of featuring it. It is kind of a nice concealer. I do enjoy it very much. And it's actually by a new brand that I have never featured on this channel before. So this is the Rosy Ink Soft Light Luminous Hydrating Concealer and this retails for $30. So this is Rosie Whitney Huntington's, um, I hope that's her name, I think so. I was really surprised when she came out with her own makeup line. I was like, wow, I did not expect that. Um, and it's a clean makeup line. I do have her blush and I do have her concealer. I feel like those were the first releases of her makeup brand. She also does have some skincare, but let's have a look at what they're actually saying about this concealer. So there's a lot of like claims on the website, a lot of stuff. There's a bunch of uh, stuff on recycling, a bunch of stuff on the ingredients. So this product does have quite a lot of shades. Uh, starting from the fairest shade, which is LX010, up to LX190. You know, it does go from quite fair to quite deep, but still, I did have my fair struggle with finding a shade that actually matched me. So I ended up picking up three shades, which was very unfortunate. Huh, let me actually show you all three shades that I picked out. So I've got this in shade. O20, which is the second lightest of their shades. This ended up looking super peachy. So for the under eye, it's actually okay. Uh, Alex O30 pink undertone. And then the one I ended up with was the light to medium uh, golden neutral undertone. 
Alex 40. This one is actually great for my face overall, the very first time when I used this. This made me think of the Rare Beauty Concealer. It does have somewhat the same sort of texture. It's kind of like whipped and creamy, but it blends out really, really nicely and it's super smoothing on the skin. This actually has quite some coverage, but the big difference between the Rare Beauty one and this one is definitely their finish. I feel like this one is more on the satin matte even like a little bit like a little bit luminous maybe 20% luminous side it's kind of hydrating that's what it is but the rare beauty one is definitely more emollient it's definitely much more of a nourishing sort of formula even a little bit creamier now it's kind of hard for me to show you exactly how well this is covering things up but my gosh this foundation is looking i don't like it what is happening it's already breaking up on my chin so this is where we are going to apply some rose concealer. For the concealer, I'm gonna use this Rare Beauty foundation brush. It's really nice. So I'm just gonna pat this in. As you can see, this actually did cover quite a lot. So yeah, I'm just gonna take this also on my under eye the same shade. I was thinking about going in with the peach shade, but I'm just gonna, you know, not mess with that. I'm just gonna apply just a little bit because you also don't need that much. A little bit goes a long way with this concealer. And it's really thick in consistency. It's like, as you can see on my forehead, it's like a thick cream, you know, it's like literally Creamy, but not like radiant and finished. As you can see, it's quite matte. I'm actually gonna use the sponge because I prefer this concealer with a sponge. I actually remember that. It looks really nice when you blend it out on your under eye with a sponge because this is quite creamier and a little bit thicker in consistency. I prefer to blend it out with the sponge because it does avoid creasing a little bit better because it just blends out a little bit smoother because the sponge kind of absorbs the excess moisture. So I'm feeling I'm losing a little bit of the coverage from the foundation. I don't know. The foundation does not sit that well on my skin. I feel like my skin eats it up a little bit. So I'm going to go in here with the concealer too and continue with the sponge, blending it out over on top of this foundation just to create a little bit more coverage. This um, concealer is really pretty though. Like I feel like I've achieved a little bit more coverage now. I'm not going to go in with any eye product because I do have a eye sort of product that I want to use on my bare eyes so I'm not going to prime my eyelids. I'm just going to leave them bare for now and I'm going to set my face and again I'm going to introduce a brand new brand. So this is actually by Say Beauty and this is their Air Set Radiant Loose Setting Powder and this retails for $30. I picked this out in translucent. They did come out with three different shades. So here it is, right off the bat. I really like the packaging. It's kind of frosted and has this silver top. They did everything right here. Uh, this comes with a locking surf. Now, when I got this, I was kind of stunned. I poured a little bit out of my hand and I, I was like, wow, is this a highlighter? It does have some sort of shimmer particles in it, but Never mind, this does not show up on the skin whatsoever. I actually do feel like it adds to the really beautiful finish that this powder gives you. So I'm going to powder my under eyes with this because honestly, this is stunning for your under eyes. I was really surprised that this powder, it does not really mattify your skin to the extreme. This is how it looks but it reflects the light in such a beautiful way and it just sets your makeup and your under eyes so well. This looks airbrushed and this side does not look as smoothened out as this one. 
this powder is fantastic like wow this did set my makeup quite well i mean it does not look as sort of shiny anymore and also it does look really really sort of blurred wow i've been so surprised by this powder it is really good how much product do you get you're only gonna get four grams though which is not that much product just be aware of that that's that so i would say let's move on to the next product let's put on some color onto my face and let's move on to the bronzer the blush and the highlighter so this is the Say Beauty Sun Melt Natural Cream Bronzer and this retails for $30. So here is the cream bronzer. Now I picked this up in the shade Light Bronze. There are three shades in total. I should have picked up medium because let me tell you, this cream bronzer, it is so light on my complexion. It is barely noticeable. It's a huge jar of just literally... Um, 30 milliliters of cream bronzer but i also do have another bronzer which i may want to show you on the other side of my face why not we're just gonna kill two birds in one stone we're just gonna do two products at once why not because this is also just brand new and this is by rare beauty so this is the rare beauty warm wishes effortless bronzer stick and this retails for 23 now they actually have five shades i have the shade happy sol which is their second lightest shade because i looked at the very lightest shade and i was like this looks a little bit too sort of yellow orangey and this was more sort of my thing and to be honest i prefer this color a little bit more this one i prefer over this in terms of formula, let's talk about this. I feel like the Say one is very much like emollient, very creamy, very emollient, very buttery. Last time when I used this, I felt like I was like, I can barely see this and it is kind of like buttery. So it was kind of disrupting my foundation. It's a little bit like when you warm it up, it does kind of feel a little bit more like oily and it does melt but it's just the undertone, the shade, and the formula. It's just my skin, again, eats this kind of up. So I feel like in that sense, it's more suitable if you have a normal skin type or if you might have a little bit drier skin. I do have this combination, a little bit oilier skin. Here is the Rare Beauty in comparison in the shade Happy Soul. Now you can tell this has more pigment to it it is much more lighter and more whipped in texture i kind of prefer the feel of this this also blends out a little bit more evenly um, the pigment does disperse a little bit better with this formula here i'm gonna just literally warm this up melt it up a little bit it's just a little bit too yeah too melty to be honest it's gonna melt my makeup too um, I'm just going to work this into the brush because I feel like this is the only way that I can apply this, you know. It is so light, you know, it's just barely there. I mean, it looks really nice and natural. That's what I like about cream bronzers, you know. They just give you this very natural sort of finish. So I'm going to go in with the Rare Beauty one right now. So I'm going to work this into the brush as well. And straight off the bat, we're going to get much more pigment, much more of a contoury, uh, bronze sort of vibe, you know, just a little bit more oomph. Just the shade of this is so much more up my alley. I mean, I really enjoyed this bronzer by Rare Beauty quite a lot. I feel like this really has given me 
some life and it also works beautifully on top of powder. So I told you guys that everything is going to be cream products for the complexion. So let's actually go back to Rose Ink because I picked up their cream blush. So this is the Rose Ink Blush Divine Radiant Lip and Cheek Color and this retails for $30. This is actually refillable. So the refill is going to come at a cost of $18. So you can actually only buy the refill and put it in a Z palette or get this really fancy toilet seat blush packaging. Now you guys, I heard this on YouTube so many times, people referring to this blush as a toilet seat and I, I, I just, I can't. It's just hilarious. Like this really reminded me of a toilet seat too. And you know what? The concealer stop it i thought about this for a while and i was just like this might just be the toilet brush i really do still like this little sort of refillable compact i have the shade heliotrope and it's actually a lip and cheek product now you guys i have tried this only on my cheeks so far i don't know about this on my lip as a color she came out with a couple of colors and they all look so so stunning so i actually do have their uh brush here i'm gonna just warm this product up take it on the brush and just tap it onto the apples of my cheek i don't like this brush this brush is kind of like poking my skin it's kind of harsh like i don't really like this so let's actually use uh my ilia complexion brush one of my favorite kind of brushes because it's just perfect for cream blush or for any kind of blush because it just has this perfect shape and so soft too. I need to apply a little bit more to build up some pigment here but wow this actually just looks so stunning. I really like her colors and I would love to try out a little bit more. It's just it's not very long lasting on my skin. So I'm going to use a little bit more product again. Try and building this up some more. I'm going to work it into my brush. And that's what I like about cream blushes. It's like you can work them into your brush and they just look so natural like it looks like your skin you know you don't have that powder finish depending on how your skin type is like every time i use this blush it just looks fantastic and i wish it was a little bit more long lasting maybe if i would powder it so we'll have to see how this is going to look in a couple of hours but yeah let's actually move on to the next product and Let's talk about kind of a newer release and also a brand that I would love to introduce in the future on my channel. So this is by LYS Beauty and this is their Brave Aim High Multi-Use Liquid Highlighter and this retails for $19. So LYS Beauty is a brand that I was interested in for months on end and it took them ages to get them like be like available here in Europe. So once they became available on Cult Beauty, I basically picked them up. If you like a kind of glowy base, you could use this definitely as a base, but it's kind of like a liquidy, runny, more golden type of shade. It's pretty translucent though. I was really surprised by this this actually looks really flattering on the skin and it's not too much it's just always a question on how am i going to apply this so for this one i'm definitely going to use my fingers and yeah we're going to be talking about this brand a lot more on my channel i feel like in the future but as of right now let's apply this very runny formula and i'm just going to dab this right here and then i'm just gonna Press it in continuously with my finger because because it's so runny, it actually sinks into the skin quite nicely and most liquid highlighters just don't really do that. And I'm impressed by this. The shade of this is also very interesting because it's not 
too golden in the beginning I thought it may be too golden but don't feel that's the case and this is a product that can be very much applied like underneath your foundation if you have a foundation that just looks too cakey too matte for you and finish that you know or your skin just needs that little bit of like a glow I feel like this is a beautiful product, you know, it's it's pretty, it's very, very, very nice. Let's just move on to the next category because we still got some products here for the eyes, although I don't really have that many new products for my eyebrows. It's always kind of the same thing. So let's fill in my eyebrows with my favorite eyebrow gel. Um, I haven't tried anything else out as of right now because I just love this so much and every time I'm in a hurry, every time I'm in a rush, I don't use much on my eyebrows, I just use this. This is my second one, I feel like it's gonna be empty soon but I already have a backup so just have a look at that difference, it's um, very very mind-blowing. This is amazing and I cannot live without this little guy anymore. I literally love this product. Holy, holy grail. We're going to stick with some creams for my eyes. As I said, I did not put um, an eye primer on just yet or any kind of concealer on there just yet because we are going to put on something that I kind of don't want to mess with layering some stuff on my eyes at all. So these are the RMS highlights and one of them retails for $26. Now they released six shades in total and the shades look stunning, you guys. They have such a beautiful taste when it comes to colors. Now these come in these little artist sort of squeeze tubes. Like this reminds me of art school back in the day. A uh, little paint kind of tubes, you know. So I've got this in three shades. I have this in the shade Strobe, Blaze and Spark. Now, I was already having so much fun with these and I really liked them. When you purchase them, this actually comes with this uh, little thing on here. Basically, you tuck this in here and then you just pull this down in order to just get all of the product out. I don't know. I find this a little bit unnecessary. I just wish they would have just made a different packaging because it is a little bit inconvenient if you don't have um, one of these makeup palettes, for example, because I always just put a little bit on there. This squeezes out quite a lot of product, quite a generous amount that you actually don't need. But you guys, I'm going to show you all of these three shades swatched on my arm. The formula is stunning highly pigmented this has a beautiful dry down a little bit of flexibility when applied to your eye you still have some time to blend this out super super stunning they are not overly glittery or shimmery or anything they're just beautiful sort of foiled like metallics almost and i really really enjoyed this release. I was very excited when I saw these. I like to apply these with my fingers and then sometimes take a brush to just blend them out. These blend out beautifully. Um, honestly, if you want more pigments straight away, I would advise you to go in with your finger, uh, like swipe them along your lid, but then along the edges, I would advise to take a little bit of a denser sort of shorter brush to just be sure and buff the edges out, you know, because this is kind of a formula where you can uh, buff the edges out too. So today I actually want to use the shade Spark. It has this beautiful ruby reflect. Although the base is a little bit more cool tone, it actually comes off more like bronzy, ruby. It's just so unique. I don't have anything like that. All right, I'm going to take this one. This is the Everything Eye Brush by Rowan Beauty. I'm gonna pour a little bit on here. This little drop here is already so much product, you guys. I'm gonna use my finger a little bit. So, this is also like a whip texture. It's so like, it kind of feels like moussey. Swipe this onto my eyelid. This 
this was so easy, so effortless. And what I really like is that this dries down, this will stay on your eyelid all day. It's such a nice one and done kind of product. If you know how to apply it, it's so easy. And yeah, this shade is absolutely stunning. So I'm gonna do my other eye as well. I still have some product on here just to show you. Here is the product. This is what I squeezed out. So I'm gonna put this on my lid and do the exact same thing on my other side. Beautiful. Like this looks like it took me quite some time to actually do and it was just done in like what a couple of seconds and I just love the shade and we're not done yet because I've got another one that I could put on top of here which is the shade strobe. Now the shade strobe is a little bit lighter and I mean you can you guys can see how this looks the shade spark on its own right now you were able to see that but I'm gonna Put some of this now on top because I do want to use two shades. Na, 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 na. I really could just use this to highlight the corners a little bit because this is quite a different shade. It's also really, really stunning on its own. But I'm just going to put it a little bit in my brush and just apply it around here. All right, you guys, I feel like this is all I want to apply. So I do have a couple of new eyeliners by Fit Glow. And this is their vegan eyeliner and this retails for $24. Now I think the shade Mulberry, this might work quite well. Do you know what? I actually have this in another shade here. I've got this also in brightening beige and I feel like I'm going to go into my waterline with this. I love the fact that this has this tiny brush with um, the crayon, with the pencil on the other side, on the flip side. It's so cool. It's really precise and it's actually angled as well and I just really like that. I mean this is so simple, so easy and just uh, you know quite effortless to be honest. I really like these uh, eye pencils. I've got to say the shade Mulberry. Wow that worked so so well and in favor with the shade Spark by RMS. So let's actually move on with the last eye product that I've got for today. So let's move on to a mascara. So this is not by a new brand, this is by a familiar brand to my channel. I've actually done a full face review with only this brand on my channel before. And it's a Swedish brand, it's no other than Idan Minerals. They are an amazing Swedish beauty brand. They have an amazing kind of price point and the quality of the products is... So they actually have released a tubing mascara and guess what? It's the mascara that I reviewed in uh, that video. I was excited when I heard that they made a tubing mascara out of this one. So this is the Idan Minerals Magna Water Magic Mascara and this retails for 20 euros and 95 cent. So I'm not sure how much this is going to be in dollars. Just rest assured, this brand also ships to the United States. I have not used this mascara just yet. Um, let's actually have a look at the brush. It's a silicone one. It's exactly like my hourglass kind of one. So I am intrigued. I really want to try it. I am going to curl my lashes and then tell you my first impression thoughts on this mascara. Wow. 
wow, this is really stunning. This gave me a lot of volume. It gave me kind of like feathery sort of eye vibes. This is like uh, a mascara I could wear if I would go on a night out. I could definitely wear this with a smoky eye look or something. Uh, also, by the way, no problem with my lower lash line. That's always something I do want to point out because sometimes it's just hard to get these uh, little hairs right there. It was so easy. No mess. Really mess free. Also did not clump. Uh, upon first application, you may think this may be clumpy. And then again, when you brush through, it just disappears and spreads out beautifully. So. Yeah, let's do the other side. I just really like this. Like this was effortless, easy. Uh, I like the brush. It was very precise. I was able to really separate my lashes and define them, lengthen them, lift them up with the brush and I really like the result. All right, you guys, so that's it for the eyes. I feel like they look pretty. I really like the outcome of today's look so far. So the last step, of course, what's left, my lips. So this is by no other than the woman who makes my absolute favorite foundation, no other than Lisa Aldridge. So this is the Lisa Aldridge 2 Velvet Matte Lipstick and this retails for $36. I'm gonna show you guys the picture I took, the close-up of this beautiful lipstick. Oh my God. This is definitely a luxurious lipstick. I have this in the shade Affair. She has so many beautiful colors. I wasn't sure about which one to pick out, to be honest. The one that I picked out is described as an earthy, soft caramel brown with an easygoing, cool girl vibes. Lashes apply to my lips and I'm gonna give you some feedback on what I'm actually thinking about the formula too. I do think this has, um, well, a velvet sort of kind of probably like a satin matte finish. So let's see. Wow, you guys, this is so intense. Like, I feel like this lipstick has so much pigment. It is so kind of like velvety matte and finish. I love it. It is really stunning, very pigmented. And what I really like is that it does not highlight any kind of sort of wrinkles or it does not accentuate them. It really looks like almost blurred out. This really does feel like like nothing on your lips. It feels so soft. It doesn't feel drying. It feels like a souffle, like something whipped on your lips. The texture of this is so smoothing. Like, I don't know, but this is really stunning. What are you guys thinking about the color? I like the color. I would absolutely love to try more shades in this formula because she has quite an array of different shades that look very, very much appealing to me. And I mean, this shade affair, I love it. I really honestly hope you enjoyed this video, you enjoyed this review. Um, do let me know in the comments if you yourself did pick up anything that I've tried on today, or if you're interested in something, if you do have any further questions please do feel free to always drop me a comment i would be very very happy to read it in case you were new here and in case you made it this far thank you so so much and yeah i would love for you to stick around on here a little bit longer and join me on my makeup journey and yeah just hit that subscribe button it would mean the world to me if you could give this video a thumbs up as well i would appreciate it anyway you guys thank you so much for being here today thank you so much for joining me and yeah please do take care i shall be seeing you on here very very soon with the next video thank you so much for watching Bye bye. <laughs>